a two, a one, and smack. On you, bro. All right, cool. Uh, I'm down with it. I ain't mad yeah. at it. Uh, <laughs> this is the bonus episode of season one, episode two of Marvel Marvel's Marvel Studios Loki, of course, on mm-hmm. Disney Plus. So uh, this is something Jr. and I decided to do um, uh, after WandaVision, and we did like a two. Oh, actually, I think we almost did like a three or four hour wrap up of WandaVision and we decided okay, yeah. we're not doing that again. We're going to break nah. it down week by week with Falcon yeah. Soldier, which would end up being awesome. You know, yeah. of course, doing the deep dive into uh, uh, all the uh, the cool uh, kind of um, deep dive characters like uh, Elijah Bradley and stuff like that. So it'd be kind of cool. And I said, dude, let's do it again for Loki. This is, this is kind of setting up to be something where we're going to need to break it down for the fans to kind of understand mm-hmm. what in the blue hell is going on. Uh, we're going to say it right out here in front. Uh, spoiler alert, just like it says Obviously. down there in the below. Spoiler alert. With that said, uh, I am going to join my good friend, uh, JR, in um, celebrating the new character in the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe, and that is lady loki mm-hmm. um and uh we do it looks like we have another special guest uh it's my son oh, jacob. What's up, man? okay jacob get what you need okay I to say hi. okay hi so there he is <laughs> there's a run-in and mm-hmm. he's gonna go right into the, the the backstage area so there you go okay he's in the backstage area anyways mm-hmm. that's what happens when you have your studio uh your uh undisclosed shield location at home uh mm. so yeah so spoiler alert we're going to be breaking down uh the uh, this episode uh which was entitled uh the variant the variant yep. and you're looking at her right there uh and yep. jr i'm sorry the actress you have it in front of you uh the actress's name is oh uh, one second who's calling now me you're getting, now you're getting a run in i know uh sofia di martino um, yeah, Sophia. What, what was really kind of cool was, um, and we'll, we'll get into how she fits into the storyline. Uh, there was something familiar about her, and and the way they had her um, dressed as Loki and her and kind of her stance and then just her whole swagger. I'm like, I've seen this before. Maybe maybe it's the version that you have behind you, Jr. Maybe that's the version. That we've seen but i don't know for some reason i i feel in in print i have seen this short blonde haired with the with the 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 kind of uh tiara the thorn mm-hmm. tiara there um version of of uh, loki uh, and yes yeah. that is right there that is loki lady loki yeah. whatever you want to call yeah. her um yeah. they, they have man. her yeah they have her named up for something else that uh, some other set call um call her sylvia sylvie well it's just more so the way that this show was going, it is definitely Loki, right? It's just definitely a different variant esque of a Loki. Um, I'm hoping we're gonna we're gonna know more about her in the next episode. This is definitely Loki, though. It is, <clears throat> if it is the same uh, Loki from the, if I remember correctly, I forget which one it was from the Journey to Mystery as well as Young Avengers run. Yeah, it's gonna be a good. It's gonna be a really, really good Loki. Actually, no, no. Uh, she she first came out in Dark Reign back in two thousand. Not two thousand eight. Really? I think. Yeah, she came I back. Have, she came in. She came in Grant, I have Black Panther books from Dark Reign. Yeah. I don't have yeah. all of the books from Dark Reign, but I'll take a look and see if maybe I have. Yeah. Maybe she appears in one of the dark Black Panther books I have. But anyways, if you're joining us at home, if you're if you're watching at home, uh, get your little controller. We're gonna start play um, and have I'm gonna have Loki playing in the background to kind of have some some footnotes. Um, yeah. So this where we left off last week mm. um, was you know Loki is picked up by the TVA after he takes the test rack in yep. 2012. Um, He's learning all about this kind of stuff. And of course, in typical Loki fashion, 
he's up to something he's up to his he's up to tricky his trickster ways or whatever so mm. um we find at the very end of the episode that the big bad of this season is loki it's himself yeah. so uh we don't know what and of course we do see uh a variant in a timeline in uh i think in oklahoma um mm. set fire to a field and kill a couple of tva agents um yeah. and we know that this is this is kind of going on so now we open up the episode we're in oshkosh wisconsin circa 1985 um yeah. there are tva uh, tva agents that come into the uh to that timeline i'm kind of curious do i guess this answers my question because you see uh they're at a renaissance fair yeah and they see someone kind of interact with them in 1985 if someone came out of thin air and had those kind of costumes on that would be like um bro like where are you coming from and that would kind of be a little freaky deaky yeah yeah you don't see it, anybody freaking out not necessarily like it, it's <clears throat> yeah it's uh it's the same timeline where they, it's been known that they have superheroes. So I'm like, it's, you know, it's, it is what it is. It's <laughs> the, the amount of a uh, um, suspension of disbelief, even within the, its own like Marvel universe, even within its own universe is pretty freaking high. So that's kind of crazy to see, but it's, I don't, I don't like the, the way the, the way the episode started out for me was, was good. It was decent. It's just for me, it really, I think I'm comparing it to the uh, to Captain to uh, Captain Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Captain America and the Winter Soldier. In their fight scenes, because the fight the fight scenes for me was really lackluster. Now hearing about you know why that fight scene was lackluster or that possibility of like it wasn't too much, hearing now makes sense. Uh, for yeah, for those who don't know, the actress here she was pregnant when she shot the scene. Yeah, so the the actress that J, that Jerry said, the, what I read about the actress uh, when she took on this role, she was already pregnant when she agreed yeah. to take the role, yeah. and they said, okay, don't worry about it, we'll work it out. And who knows? I mean, they're they're the, the, in the opening scene, you do see the variant, and we know now that the variant can transport his or her um, consciousness, consciousness. Yeah. to uh, other beings. Yeah. Um, you know, we see obviously in this particular case, they're transporting uh, her, her consciousness yeah. into TVA agents to fight one another. Um, you know, obviously she's in this cloak, so she's she's not really being seen. So yeah. it very easily could be a stunt double. We don't know that, but I do yeah. know that at least for the big reveal scene, um, she was on set pregnant and had um, a uh, like almost like an assistant with her at all times. Yeah. Um, so that, you know, because she's constantly having to, when she sit, she does, shoots her scene, then goes and sits down because you know, it's, it's rough, you know, carrying yeah. a lot of extra weight and stuff like that. So God mm -hmm. bless her for doing that. Um, uh, again, I, I, I said when she revealed herself and I know a lot of people were like, there's a lot of chauvinists out there. Like, you ain't, ain't going to be a female Loki. Well, there is female Lokis in different yeah. multiverses and well yeah not not even that but loki himself turns into a woman constantly his one of his powers is uh is uh is changing his uh, his his not his genetic makeup i guess but like he he switches from and male to female he kind of Pretty, explains it i don't know if it's in this episode or the last episode he does explain his fluid. magic allows him yeah, to, to copy and to mimic like there's yeah um something um, like I he, did like this he, scene though, where, where for real quick, they're at the opening scene where he's fighting uh, Miss, uh, was it Miss Time or Miss? What's the the little oh yeah the character? yeah yeah Miss yeah. Minute yeah something like um, that yeah, which is of course is played by the uh, was voiced by Tara Strong. We know her from yeah. you mentioned last everything time, from, from pretty much everything. everything anime in the last twenty yeah. years, including My Little mm -hmm. Pony and and Teen Titans Go. Um, we get to see. Uh, Loki take on his, I'm assuming going to be iconic, kind of dicky coat with variant on the back. I see a lot mm -hmm. of cosplay uh, coming very very soon. Yeah, um, I was already thinking about it myself. <laughs> um, and by the way, can we just say that, um, just again, Owen Wilson, 
adding legitimacy and not that the tom holland is not a legitimate actor but i mean just yeah he's someone who's just come on in the last 10 plus years and owen wilson's been around yeah. for so long it's just here's a guy yeah. been around for so long and he's like i want to do i'm gonna do a, a, a comic book movie yeah man you know sorry I can't, that's my best owen wilson imitation and i'm upset we're two episodes in hmm. and I, we it's still it. haven't heard his iconic line I'm pretty sure he, we won't hear him until the very end, and which I'm cool with, right? It's yeah. it's like it, you don't want to get too hokey, in my yeah. in my opinion, when it gets to that. So, but overall, man, like the the start of the episode, Owen's character, uh, Mobius, right? Yes. I I don't know, I think he might be the I, I he from <laughs> it's very much feels like very much a uh, a Netflix a Netflix Marvel. A show for me because i don't know which is who are the good and who are the bad yeah you, it is very fluid yeah. yeah you give us you give us a very you know they they give you a very big, a big depiction like all right the main person they're going after is the variant of a lucky right because yeah understand be so messing up the timeline you know they want to create all these things but again you know when you're looking with marvel movies and marvel characters right now they're so mostly faceted nowadays right that there has to be a reason for it and so when I first see that scene, when we see that scene of Mobius in that in that room with uh, his superior, um, I forgot her name, badass like freaking first name, Raya or something like that. No, it's the that's the this it's, it's a uh, cartoon character. Yeah, it's um, what's it called? One second, I'm trying to find out. No, Ravona Ravona Renslayer, right? Renslayer, she, that's it. Yeah, Renslayer. When she when he's uh having this conversation about like, no, I just want to get the job done. If if he uh, if I mess up again, I'll kill him myself. Type of thing, right? And like, I don't know which side like owen plays this really this role really really well of saying like i you know i'm on your side but i'm not really on your side type of thing right yeah which i like which is good so like it keeps us it keeps me really in tune to what the conversation is saying because loki himself is a trickster but the person he's uh yeah but the person he's technically in this buddy cop movie with is also a trickster in that sense and I enjoy that. I enjoyed the whole. I enjoyed their whole scenes. Uh, this whole different Loki of like, not really bumbling, but like very much a different Loki. Yeah, for me. I was. It's just a very that, different as Loki. As I'm sitting here, it's really, to me, it's kind of cool because we get to see Tom Hiddleston doing press Act. tour and 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 yeah. stuff like that, and you know, you get to see him with the short hair and kind of be himself and and cut loose. And I really think that you get to see more of Tom Hiddleston come out in this version of Loki because he's not in full garb. You know, one of my favorite moments of Loki was in Hall H a few years back, right before they unveiled, um, I think, Thor the Dark World. Yeah, and he, he showed up in San Diego, <laughs> in Hall H, yeah. in full regalia, full costume, and mm. was like, say my name. And just it was, it was an epic nerd moment. Yeah. And he gets so lost in the costume when he's full Loki and he has to be that total Prince mm -hmm. of Asgard. I'm a God, the God of mischief. And this one, he really gets to be you, like you said, the trickster. Yeah. Um, yeah. He let his guard down. And yeah, I think yeah. Tom Hiddleston allows himself to really, really get to act in, in, yeah. in this show. So yeah, it, uh, it's a, it's a very different Loki. I, I enjoy that. It's very much, playing into this role of like all right cool it's the buddy cop drama you know the 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 old guard the the veteran cop is there and the new guy comes in and he's trying to prove his worth but it's you know in this twinge of like it's loki you don't know what yeah. he's actually planning type of thing and i feel the way they broke down episode one really transitions well into episode two of like all right cool you know you're loki but who are you really why do you do the things you do and the, there was this pivotal point in the episode where where Logie's like, yo, I thought you would want to know what made me tick. I'm like, no. And the guy's like, I don't want to know what makes you tick. I want you to get the job done type of thing, right? Like, it's a, uh, it really is a clear set of motivations while Loki himself is like trying to figure out what does he want? What does he really want? Like, at the end, I know I'm like jumping around a lot in this sense, but he's like, at the end of the episode, it shows what he wants, quote unquote, right? But again, with the with the current trend of all these, uh, with the current trend of these shows on Disney Plus, you know what what we actually get to the end is very different from what they say 
what's going to happen. And I, re- I really want to know what really does Lo- what does Loki really want? Because he says that, oh, you know, I want to overthrow the TVA. I want to overthrow these new- these gods of theirs, right? But you yeah. know, w- there's no way in the hell he's going to be able to do that. So what does he really want? And like, it's going to be interesting. I-, I like how, I like how it's done. The pacing, like the pacing is interesting for me. It's different from the first two, obviously. But like, yeah. it's, I I didn't know where we were going. I didn't know where we were going in a sense. Be like, you see a lot of like busy work, both from, I've never seen this. You see a lot of busy work. You see freaking Loki going through files and trying to do the whole, trying to be this whole bureaucracy type of like, I'm, you know, I'm digging through stuff, trying to figure out what's going on, you know, what's about me, you know, trying to figure out, you know, why my variant is, is the way that, he, that he or she is at the time. And then like, it's cool to see. It is really, really cool to see. I've never would would think of Loki doing paperwork. I never would think of that. No, especially this variant because it, it, it yeah. brought up a good point about how he very much spends this episode talking about um, setting up his plan, yeah. and 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 almost he's a very he's a very dark Loki still, and yeah. it made me start to think when you were talking about them like oh I forgot. This is not the Loki we. Anyway. we this is not the last. This is not the the last Loki. This yeah. is the Loki in the middle. You know, we yeah. saw the Loki when we first were in- introduced to Loki in in Thor. You know, mm-hmm. he was um, young, unabashed. He was, uh, you know, he evolved into the uh, devious, demented um, trickster at the end, where he was mm-hmm. just consumed by power. Um, and that that Loki evolved into the Loki that you know he um, you know he gets lost into space. He's saved by what well, we know we know now. He is saved by Thanos and yeah. um, and his minions, um, and he's put to work with uh, the power of the of the uh, the Mind Stone yeah. to take over Earth to take, uh, to get to gain control of the the Test Track and stuff like that. So yeah. you have to understand this Loki that we're seeing this 2012 Loki is demented he is effed up in the head he's a very angry one i mean he's the guy that assumed that the that loki just takes place um just for the sake of argument takes place shortly after the events of the first avengers movie and mind you the order and to go back to the avengers movie this is the guy who yells at scarlet which calls her a mewling quim and just and just and who wants to unleash the hulk he wants to turn the hulk on the Avengers. He tries to go toe to toe with Tony Stark in Avengers Tower, and yeah. um, he um, unleashes this army on New yeah. York City. And so he's this angry, power, um, power hungry, uh, 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 deranged uh, yeah. villain who is then yeah. sucked into almost trying to be a nice guy, like you said, a yeah. hey, uh, kind of a buddy cop with with Owen Wilson's Mobius. But he's very much like he says in the the first episode, I want to rule, you yeah. know, and 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 you start to see and as this episode breaks down is he can't be trusted. He is a backstabber. He is the god of mischief. mischief. He is a trickster. And a lot of it is still based in anger and based in power hung, hunger. So yeah. Like it's, I said, when you when you brought up your point, I was like, oh, I forgot. Yeah. This is an angry Loki that we're still yeah. dealing with, and I'm wondering if Tom it, Hiddleston probably it's grew it's from a that. different yeah, it's a different take. And uh, um, actually, just to kind of backtrack, it's not Scarlet Witch; it's Black uh, Black Widow. Uh, I apologize, from, Black yeah. Widow. I apologize. Yeah. But yeah, it's a different. It's definitely a different take, and he just his only sense of recompense is like he was shown his the life of the Loki that we knew, right? Yeah. And he you have to kind of deal game. with that. He, he saw that. And like, it, it's cool that they broke his character and broke his motivation down in the very first episode. And he's trying to build from that. But yeah, it definitely, there's still a lot of anger. There's still a lot of a, there's still very much a lot of like loss and trying to find yourself type of thing from him. What does he still want to do? And if his, if he's more of the chaotic neutral now and, if, and like if his motivations is to like oh i want to th- overthrow the tva i want to overthrow these gods what then because that question still still is going to come up when mobius tells him all right th- all right then you know after you become god what then 
after you become god of a king of uh king of this planet what then what then like what is there i, I like this uh I, if you remember if you remember that uh if you remember the scene in the middle of the uh, of the episode where they both go out and have like a break right i'm trying to figure out you know i'm trying to figure out you know where this variant's at and and loki asked you know, Loki asked Mobius, like, okay, then, you know, why, why do you believe, who do you believe? Now, why, like, why do you, why is the TVA here? Why do you, be, why do you believe in that, right? Yeah. And then Mobius goes, I just, you know, I do what I do. I try not to think outside of that. I'm just here because, and, and the TVA is there. And I like the fact that both Mobius and Loki doesn't back down from that question, right? No. Loki goes, oh, you know, TVA is here. What happens after that? What happens after? What happens after the TBA? After all the all the you know the the uh, the gods come in and they set forth their path. What happens after that? Well, then we you know at the end we meet all at the end of time and we're good. And he goes uh, and Loki goes oh so then we're all then you believe in a set path. And I love the fact that Mobius goes back. Well, it's not so different from Ragnarok. It's not so different from you. It really isn't. You know you want to look at this set. You know, it's the set path by saying these things, but then you believe that you know that you were supposed to be king when obviously you weren't. You're supposed to believe all these things. I just love this continual mesh of how these two are trying their best to sort of believe in each other or trying their best to try to co try to coexist with each other, but at the same time you see a bunch of clashing in the sense of ideals. And I, I absolutely freaking love that because we I've never seen this this Loki like truly sit down and have a conversation with someone who could possibly see the end of everything. And, and, and also, by the way, leave it, leave us in the comments below what you think, mm -hmm. what is this Loki? What is this Loki trying to reach? Of course, Jerry had mentioned his end game in this show is he, lo, this Loki, the variant wants to take control of the TVA. He wants to overthrow the time Lords or what do they call them? The, mm -hmm. the, the time gods, yeah, something, um, like that, yeah. something like that. The, the space lizards he wants to overthrow yeah. the, the space lizards that control the the uh sacred timeline um and you know and, and like i said he's playing everybody he's he's up to his trickster ways um it also should be pointed out one of the things that loki does figure out in doing his paperwork and by the way the aesthetics of this show again i love the fact that we're stuck in like 1965 like yeah. everything is very retro it's very 60s 70s esque um and uh i don't know i just absolutely love it um and i know you mentioned it last uh last yeah. episode um we do know that we find out that one of the things that oh that mobius and loki are trying to figure out is how is loki's variant aka lady loki and others yeah. getting around without being traced because it's you know it was very easy for the time variants uh time variant um the tva whatever we go yeah. um it was very easy for the tva to find the variant 2012 Loki in mm. uh, in uh, in China or in, no it was in um uh, uh, no no it was in uh which was the first time or the second time the Gobi Desert uh the Gobi Desert yeah in, in, in Mongolia um I'm sorry and so you know it's so easy for them to find him there but they're not able to find Lady Loki what inevitably was the Lady Loki variant um yeah. and the reason being is that she begins and 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 Loki figures it out Lo, uh. You know, as he's trying to get access to as much information as he can with the TVA, he finds out he can only find out information about himself. himself. Yeah. And so he starts reading about himself and his variants, um, where they're hiding. And he finds uh, or he hypothesizes that he is jumping around and hiding <laughs> in apocalyptic events throughout yeah. time. Yeah. Um, and of course, this is where we see yet another moment um, in history where and it's coming up here in a few in a few moments as we're watching here at yeah at, at watch along at home is him and mobius go back in time to i guess what ancient sicily to, uh yeah pompeii to, or to pompeii yeah and the explosion of uh the, the volcano there yeah. um and it's just so fun that it was just a hilarious scene where yeah once again we get to see the trickster and here is the scene you were talking about jr where um they're in the cafeteria and they're and they're doing yeah. the, uh, the 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 explanation and it's so funny. He's like he uses Mobius's salad and drink as an example, and oh, I'm going wish, like yeah. I remember when I watched it last night. I was like, my wife, 
was that necessary? And he goes, I don't think so. I think just Loki was being a dick. Yeah. Um, so and I was thinking like just, once again, is just he's just being he's being yeah. an asshole. So yeah. But. Which is which is good. I like this version of Loki because oh, he's it. very much that. Like we always see Loki in the sense of like one, he's always you know the foil to Thor or the or the would be bad guy. But now we just have this Loki where he's just a trickster. He's just that much of a chaotic a, a chaotic neutral in the sense. And I love that. Absolutely freaking love yeah. that. The um this whole thing this this whole. I hope we keep this Loki. I really do because Absolutely. this whole thing of I, this whole thing of him breaking down when he's super serious, when he's really motivated to look at everything, to look at all the facts, to look at all the freaking data, and say, "Oh, you know, I would." The reason why I would do this, right? The reason why I would, you know, do these crimes is because you know, blah, you know, A, B, and C, right? Go, they go to yeah. Pompeii, and like, you know, I would go here and do all my stuff because we're gonna die anyway. Yeah, <laughs> we're all gonna die anyway, so why not? Type of thing. And I love that about it. It's it's very much it's it's very much this whole take on like science of the lambs but if he was actually on your team it reminds me of this show um uh on usa called uh dang it it was it was alexandra daddario's like one of her first shows she was in it it was uh dang it it, if uh, tiffany amber thesis was in it too oh yeah, 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 yeah. It, suits, suits. I think no, no, suits, not, not suits. Not, no, no, not suits. Not suits. That's that's a different show. On oh no, a great show also on a on 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 uh, USA. Oh dang, it was called. Uh, I'm Doesn't that star the uh, Duchess of uh, Cambridge? Yeah, it is. That was her. First, that's how she met him. That's how he yeah. met. Him. But yeah, aside from that, she was in. Uh, dang it, I'm looking. I'm just looking at Alexandra Daria right now. I'm trying to look for the thing, but uh, it is called White Collar. There you go, White Collar. It's where, oh, gotcha. Yeah, it's where the FBI agent is working with a well-renowned like a thief, right? And this yeah. is very much fits this role. I love that where you know he's he's on your side but not really on your side type of thing. He's still yeah. doing some stuff on the side. You gotta, you know, Loki. Uh, all you gotta do for Loki is just give him a freaking like now put him like a like one of those leg collars type of thing just so yeah. to show work is every single every single time. And that's just white collar to me now. That's that's absolutely that's this is absolutely the show white collar and i love that but just more so the effects of like loki going through like being more in this bureaucratic role being in this like uh cop role type-esque and trying to find out this mystery of why of why this loki is going crazy i love it just this crazy cat and mouse of him trying to find himself yeah it's it speaks on so many levels on a on a on a theoretical historic not historical but this theoretical um a philosophical level of like why are why am i the way i am type of thing it's so good really 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 good the, the pacing is really good the way they um the way that they break down the first scene of they all come to the the rent fair and how yeah. that one captain got uh got kidnapped from the variant loki and how loki and how our loki breaks down like you know how he's trying to like oh don't move because if it, because if it was me i would take all you out the second you and the second you exit the tent type of thing the whole interaction is really good really really good really like trying to break just really trying to break down loki of how you know that you know the um the the wolf what's, what's that saying that uh that they had in asgard uh the ears the, the but something about the wolf oh, i can't i don't know i can't think yeah, that freaking quote that oh, it always gets me, bro. Every time I like look back at that scene, I just forgot it's called like, yeah, always look for the the like the 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 wolf the wolf bears his teeth, but his ears are like really like up and something like that. Oh, and just really, I almost had it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but like, yeah, th- how they talk about how Loki talks about that, right? And how oh it, again, Owen Wilson comes back saying, "Well, I have my ears up too. I know what you're doing. You're lying." Type of stuff. And this interplay between them, man, I always, I really want to root for them to have a full on, you know, buddy, buddy, like type of a uh, type of friendship going on. But then it's, it just can't be because Loki is always going to be the way he is. And just more so like this whole, this whole episode is kind of rampant. Like the later half really ramps up pretty freaking fast. Oh yeah. Really, really freaking fast. We find out, we find out like why Loki or uh, Lady Loki was doing the things that she's doing is like, 
just kind of screw up the timeline, the sacred timeline. And that is the most Loki-esque thing I could think of. Where instead of overthrowing, like, no, no, screw it. I just want to screw everything up type of thing. I love that. I freaking love that. It fits his character so well, or her character so well. And it makes sense. Like, what do you bring the god of mischief to do? Well, chaos. Chaos is is on the order right now. What was up? What do you say? Speaking of chaos, we're seeing the Pompeii uh, uh, scene, which I just you just see Tom Hiddleston just go like "f it" and just throwing yeah. shit in the air, and yeah, um, and then it they find doesn't out, matter. And this is where they find out that um, despite yeah. they were in there almost directly disrupting the timeline, um, nothing happened. That that the mm-hmm. that the sacred timeline did not screw up. So yeah. it proved his hypothesis that um you know that the variant could go into these uh apocalyptic uh events and and, and not screw up the, the timeline so yeah um now their forts are trying to cross-reference trying to figure out where in all of the 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 you know and then and, and all where anywhere in the, the sacred timeline can they find both the variant and an apocalyptic event yeah and of course they they narrow it down to a to the future about (laughs) 20 some 20 about 25 years into the future from where we're at right now yeah um in mississippi where uh, it was it was no i'm sorry it was alabama Alabama, haven hill alabama alabama yeah so which turned uh, which was turned into a coastal town just yeah that's kind of crazy that That was kind of coastal town yeah um so it makes me think too is like okay uh what is is haven hill a real town is haven hill a mm. marvel town i don't know um it's probably marvel town yeah which by the way too um as we get further down this uh this rabbit hole with loki maybe we'll do it at the end of this show we'll do another mm. uh kind of a, a collection wrap up mm. uh, about some of the references and, and some of the, the key books that you want to collect mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. while watching these um these books what you're going to want to get your hands on though is what if because what if i believe is coming next and yep. that's the other thing too jerry i want to find, I, I want to talk to you about uh, as we there's a little scene between owen and and and, Hiddle, and tom is um there is people now saying that the what if cartoons the animated movies that we're going to get most likely next mm. is not just a throwaway it's not just a what if that mm. possibly the events of Loki and the TVA yep. will affect and create alternate timelines that will be seen for the first time in okay. these what ifs that they're going to that that the the events of what if are direct Based result of Loki, of Loki Wanda and WandaVision too because yeah. we do know that that Wanda is messing with the uh, the multiverse, multiverse. Yeah. so and I'm also wondering too um I doubt it because I know that um Lizzie Olsen said that specifically that the sec the, the, the day after she wrapped WandaVision back in November, she took a flight to uh, to London to shoot um, Doctor Strange too. Is I was mm-hmm. wondering, I'm like, are we going to see a reference to Wanda Maximoff because she was messing with the multiverse by using um, the Darkhold, or is that because she's using um, dark magic that she's not able to be seen by the TVA? We don't know yet. So people have been asking that online. Yeah. Why doesn't the TVA go after WandaVision? Because uh, Wanda um, Maximoff, because it's obvious that she's opened up a, a portal yeah. to the multiverse. Uh, yeah. The other thing too is some people I, would ask. Think, yeah, I think it's a possibility that like because again, this whole episode, the last two episodes of Loki has been talking about predestin- predestiny, right? You're yeah. predestined to do this, right? I'm wondering if you know it's a big possibility that like if Wanda is doing this and there's no one stopping her, she's probably meant to. Right, but she's—I mean, she may have meant to, but I know that the the whole point of episode one was the they specifically say that the 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 variants and deviating from the sacred timeline creates yeah. these splinter um, universes. They create the yeah. quote multiverse, and that the multiverse is not supposed to happen. That there is only one universe. There is only one timeline. There is only mm. one Captain America. There is only one. Uh, uh, Loki or whatever. The other thing too, Jay, I got a question for you. As we get yeah. closer to the, um, I call it the Walmart scene um, mm. in, in Alabama. In Alabama. These variants, 
that yeah. we see now obviously the we've we've seen the 2012 loki which that this loki technically is canon he is uh from the sacred timeline he is from mm-hmm. for lack of a better term the mcu earth 616 yeah. um but now this variant the female the lady loki is this just that a variant a copy or is this now because the the timelines have begun to become skewed because Loki took the Tesseract and, and ran? Is Lady Loki a not just a variant, but a uh, a, a Loki from a different multiverse? Is she is she from a different universe? I'm telling you, man. Like the, the way when they um, when they broke out the multiverse, right for everybody, and I feel like the way they broke the multiverse said that this this has been the multiverse has been there right it has been there and the yeah. the time lords right are just there to to really fill out every single multi every single you know different variation in the multiverse it's just more so what they uh what they have made known now is that this particular loki was supposed to be the loki that dies near thor right yeah. And the only way that became that he became a variant was because of the introduction of of what what they did in Endgame, right? Yeah. And that this Loki is just one of many Lokis that had been there. If you remember correctly, if if you remember, uh, they when they had that team meeting before they went to the Ren Fair, they showed every variation of Loki. Yes, Nearly they did. They variation. have like little holograms, and they showed different exactly. variants. Yeah, of of Loki, right? And they're not more so variants; they're more so just Lokis in different timelines. That's it. So it's the, the multiverse. Multiverse, so the multiverse is just different is timelines. Yeah. Multiverse has been there, and so I think what uh, the the sacred timeline, right, is just more so what the all of the multiverse is supposed to be, and the variants are just you know. This is where we go, like full on godhood, and trying to figure out you know what omnipresence and omnipotence is what what's supposed to be, because what the TVA or what the TVA gods are doing, right, is literally looking at upon billions upon billions, billions of billions different lifelines and timelines. They're spreading out. They're, yeah. uh, for me, like, the the second, uh, the second that freaking Steve went back in time, right, uh, after Endgame, like, I already knew, like, he was in a different universe, right? That The Endgame stuff really helped break open the multiverse. Uh, Wanda, what she's doing right now, is I feel like is very much this uh, what she's supposed to be doing with the time lords or whatever are gonna be telling her until you know until you know it's said otherwise. Cool, we'll we'll see how that goes. It's it's just that this Loki in in essence, I f- I feel like uh, hmm, I don't know, I don't know how I don't, I don't want to give my my full disclosure. On what this on who this Loki might be, or if he is truly a variant, because I've I've read Loki, um, uh, Agent of Asgard. For those who don't know, that's a great series too about Loki and different variations of them. Loki, Agent of Asgard. I'd say, uh, <laughs> that might be a hint. That might be a hint. So uh, yeah, that's what I, li- I do like about it is that Marvel has done a very mm-hmm. good job the uh, at pulling uh, yeah. ideas from. The source material, uh, yeah. where DC and the non MCU, um, they kind of vary. They, kind of, uh, they yeah. kind of vary. They jump around. Um, I know that, like for example, um, Sam Raimi Spider Man tried to pull, but it, for the most part, it was original yeah. content. I know that uh, the um, uh, the Amazing Spider Man tried to pull a little bit more from the source material. I know that the current Spider-Man we have, it they've done a little bit more uh, yeah. from pulling from source material and but but like a little bit from here, a little bit from there. Um, different different like source with, material, yeah. Yeah, like I mean, like M, our version of MJ is played by Zendaya, is not yeah. Mary Jane Watson. It, it's yeah. it's a it, her character name is, is Michelle, which does yeah. exist in the main Marvel continuity, but they're they're pulling yeah, uh, from miles. References. Yeah, they're they're pulling from Miles' origin story, honestly, like we've said yeah. before. So, well, yeah, yeah. because um, I was just actually just talking to my son about this the other day. Um, is just chasing a rabbit here for a second. Mm-hmm. That um, Ned from the the new the Tom Holland Spider Man is actually was it Genki 
from, 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 from Miles. the Miles Morales. Yeah. Um, and, and it was funny when we were playing the Spider-Man Miles Morales game, like he went like, why does that character look familiar? I'm like, because that's Ned. That's the character Ned in in mm-hmm. the Spider-Man Far From Home and Homecoming and, and, and No Way Home. So, yeah. um, which by the way, too, uh, we, I'm sure we'll talk about this on next week's episode. Um, there was a leaked title card uh, for Spider-Man No Way Home released um, on Twitter. And it shows a very familiar, quote, glitch kind of animation mm. Um, mm. in the uh, Spider-Man, a la the uh, nice. uh, Into the Spider-Verse glitch. Mm. So I definitely, if if there's any, any uh, um, speculation that No Way Home is going to deal with the multiverse, I think this is getting ever so closer to confirmation. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I, to actually, to get to pick on your own your own point about Lady uh, about Lady Loki here, I did that dumbass thing where I were like I I didn't go down the rabbit hole, but like I have a decent knowledge of comics, and I went to check up the uh, the uh, again I went to check up the actress who played her, right? Because I for for a while I thought that was I thought that looked like Kiernan Shipka, right? Kiernan Shipka is an actress who is uh, who was on Netflix. She did uh, Sabrina, Teenage, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, and I look at exactly like her, a little bit older. I'm being like, oh, snap, did they get Kieran and Shipka? It, oh, yeah, it does look like her. It does look like right? her. You're right. So so I'm thinking like, okay, let me just check if that's actually her. I did that. I saw the I saw it with Sophia, and then, you know, I saw the whole thing like, oh, this person, this Sophia is, might be playing another, another, um, another character, right? Because this happened in this thing, blah, blah, blah. I, for for this is a theory network now right how she's supposed to be how she's supposed to be playing enchantress right yeah. another enchantress oh no oh yeah enchantress in marvel dcu uh no in marvel mcu because of the blonde hair is not like Lo- lady loki obviously and that you know even though she has a crack on there right it might be a different character because loki in comics gave an enchantress or gave this character who has blonde short hair powers and she became enchantress so which by the way I'm, i side note that you bring up the enchantress because in the marvel continuity again talking about marvel point source material is at the end of thor the original thor movie when mm-hmm. loki is let go he lets go of his of the the staff where you know thor's trying to pull him up and save him while they're hanging off the rainbow bridge yep. loki lets go and falls into the depths of space in uh i think it's the um i think it's in the comics and in the avengers uh um earth's mightiest heroes animated series Mm. similar situation loki falls into the uh, uh, battle store falls into space and he's saved by enchantress and pulled into an alternate universe where he is healed and and, and brought back pretty much from the dead mm. and i thought for for the life of me i thought when that happened I'm like oh my gosh we're going to get the enchantress possibly in thor 2 or in or the avengers because they're going to have to explain how did loki yeah. survive falling into the depths of space we know now obviously he was saved by Thanos and, and his goons but um I was I thought the same thing when I saw her I was like I, I know it's Lady Loki but it does have an enchantress kind of look to it yeah. um, and I'm like oh are they gonna bring it because like, like you said Jer, Jer she and, and and Loki have kind of a, a close-knit relationship so yeah it's it's weird right when we get to um when we get to like comic continuity it's weird like how originally Hela in comics, right, in certain forms of comics, was actually Loki's child, right? Hela, who is the who is the the uh, the caretaker or the uh, I guess a caretaker, but um the god of hell, right, in Greek mythology, yeah. in uh in uh in oh man, I forgot it in Norse mythology, right? In in comics MCU, she's supposedly Loki's child. But then in MCU continuity, she's the sister, the eldest sister. And in I think Enchantress, in a certain version, in a certain version of MCU, both her and Loki get together. I think they have a child. It might be that it might be hell, hella, but I don't know. It's it's some weird comics. Comics is weird. Comics is weird. Very. Comics has weird continuity issues. And so where they pull this enchantress from, I don't know. Amora, this which is the Earth 616 Enchantress, right? She it was, I think she was in Dark Reign. She was in a bunch of other, a bunch of other. Uh, she was Young Avengers. She was in Young Avengers. She was in. Um, she was in a semi relationship with, with um, what's it? What's her name? One of one of Dark. Uh, no, one of uh, 
Wanda Maximoff, no, the one of her kids, Wiccan, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying her to look kid, it up. Yeah, I forgot the her, the name of one of her kids becomes Wiccan, right? And Enchantress has a semi relationship with her. It's again comics been around for 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 a long freaking time, and they have all these weird ass stories. So there you might have it. And so we, I just want to know who this Loki or Li, I think I think Lizette, all right, Lady Loki might be, because she's not she doesn't necessarily look like Lady Loki, right from comics. It might possibly be that comics have been in continuity wise is so different from what mcu might or is willing to take from so this could be possibly lady loki lady loki this, or they could make her possibly be enchantress it's just i don't know we just don't know we have to have more the theories that a lot of people put out will get debunked within the next episode possibly because yep. we might oh. officially know who she is she might just be that vengeful loki that just wants to be bring an end to everything and or have or just have chaos rule absolutely everything possibly or she might just be the strongest version of loki who knows that's a big possibility because this version of loki uh this version of lady loki uh, is emitting powers that that main timeline loki does not have so on a power level at a power leveling scale she's pretty high up already now okay um Spoiler alert, spoiler, spoiler alert. Um, mm-hmm. According to Wikipedia, Sophia yeah. Di Martino portrays the Sylvie incarnation of Enchantress in the Marvel Cinematic Universe Disney Plus show Loki depicted as a version of Lady Loki from a parallel timeline dubbed Sylvie uh, uh, La, 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 Lafayette. Lafayette. Yeah, Lafayette. Lafayette. L-A-U-F-E-Y-D-O-T-T-I-R. Hmm. um i don't know how you spoke that but so maybe it is it, it's not if that's not official can that someone probably typing in wikipedia some some nerd like us you know took it upon himself but um like jr said in the comic books there is a version uh, of lady loki maybe it is maybe it is a a, a um a multiverse version of, of loki maybe it is the enchantress it does have now that i think about it that you pointed out because I do kind of see the, the 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 lady Loki that you have in your background, Jared. Maybe that's the one I'm more familiar with. Um, yeah. I love the head. By the way, I love the the look at that headdress almost to a T, even yeah. with that little like hexagon or, the, mm-hmm. or octagon that's in the middle um, with the, the like the mini horns. Yeah. Um, but maybe now you think about it with the blonde hair, that's what I'm thinking of. That when I saw the lady Loki pop up, that I'm thinking of the enchantress and she just happens to be uh uh dressed up as loki yeah. so that'll be it um i did think i don't know why i found this interesting when they do go to haven uh haven hill and they go mm-hmm. into the 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 rocks what's it called what are they calling it rocks cart say walmart what's we'll called yeah. walmart <laughs> um by the way is this the first time other than like a background sign or something like that is this the first time in mainline marvel cinematic universe timeline that um that uh did i just lose my headphones Are you, can you hear me oh yeah wait hold on i just i can't hear you jr um that i think this is the first time that we um we um see a main reference to Roxxon in, in Marvel continuity. No, it did not say Roxxon. It says Rock Smart or Rock Card or yeah. something like that. But other than, I know that Roxxon was very much a part of the Marvel Knights shows, mm-hmm. which of course is the Netflix series. It was very much a part of Cloak and Dagger and uh, the Runaways. Yep. Um, I think it was loosely referenced maybe in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh, you know what? It was referenced in Agent Carter, but yeah. In the main Marvel Cinematic Universe timeline, um, it's never been directly referenced yeah. until now. So here's the big reveal. We're at the end of the episode. The lady walks out of the shadows, sure. takes her hood off, and Jay, I'm with well, you. I think this is the Enchantress. Yeah, it's. it's I feel it is going to be the Enchantress, and I feel. I don't know. She might because they might just have her 
be the new Loki or just be the new because again we're dealing with outside of just MC we're, we're dealing with like the actors and actresses right timeline I don't know how I don't know how long they have Tom Hiddleston for now right he's been he's been this character for 10 years now don't know if he's gonna they're gonna sign him again to do more movies or do some other stuff and they probably need another surrogate it might be her I was hoping it would be Kiernan Shipka Right, if they do a lead Loki, or even my fa- my favorite variant, if 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 he comes on, Kid Loki, my favorite variant of Loki of all time is Kid Loki. And I th- and I think there's a rumor going around that not without getting into too much, uh, I, there is a possibility to the point where I they I I'm not a hundred percent convinced it's not Loki is the yeah. kid in episode one. Yeah. So because they've said that Kid Loki, did a whole, I mean obviously they've said, they've talked about. It. This whole show is about variants. Um, yeah. Is we could be seeing different versions of Loki. We know that Loki, like you said in that meeting at the end, at the begin, towards the beginning of episode two, where they show yeah. the different, like he's like almost like a Hulk Loki. There's yeah. the like medieval Loki. There's, um, yeah. you know, there's like almost like a dark a bunch elf of Loki. Loki. There's a yeah, bunch of Lokis. Yeah. I'm I'm wondering if we do get to see uh, the different versions and stuff like that. Yeah. So. I'm I'm hoping it will be Kid Loki because from from all reports saying that Chris Hemsworth is there for the long haul, right? I would love to see the interplay of Kid Loki and Chris Hemsworth because one of my favorite series is when of of, of Thor is when Thor sees his young kid brother come back to life, right? <clears throat> and that that interplay of like you know what do we do with the kid? We know he might turn out to be evil, but he's still a kid type of thing. Yeah. And I love the interplay because um, because of how Kid Loki is still haunted by the quote unquote image of the evil version of him that does all these horrendous things, and how in the comics Asgard hated Kid, hated Loki, but yeah. then Thor's like, no, he's a kid, he's my brother, my little brother, and I would love to see that interplay if that does happen because that'd be amazing to see this another facet of one Chris Hemsworth and two the um, the mystique of just having Loki back. Granted, I hope we still have Tom Hiddleston, but if this, I, I if, think so, if this a way, yeah, if this a way for him to like to 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 have another version of Loki, great. It's just that now, man, I just I I was kind of hoping they get Kiernan Shipka. Honestly, she, don't get don't get me wrong. I lo- you know uh, the the actress here, Sophie. She she looks great. She looks good. She's, she's yeah, but just more so now, like how how Marvel. And the MCU are trying to have a lot of newer, younger up and comers trying to take over, not take over, but more so like be handed the reins to this freaking kingdom. You yeah. would, I would think if they went Enchantress, they would probably go younger, a little bit younger. I because I think uh Sophia is what 30, 37? Uh, Just I had think a it's kid? I think it's I, I think it's fine because you gotta you again you yeah. keep you gotta go with what's the best. Uh, actor, actor, best actor it. for the for the role. For the like role, but, yeah, yeah. And I and I get that you know if you're gonna if you're gonna have her take over the reins of Loki or or do something else, she's got to be in it for the long haul. But yeah, um, I, I like her. Like I said, it, it, I knew there was something about uh, her that seemed familiar. And I think now what I was thinking of was not a Loki variant, but um, but rather a, a the 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 Enchantress, which does yeah. you know have. Um, uh, a similar costume it's it's green um yeah um but uh yeah I, i'm i'm in, i'm very very interested in seeing where by the way the the show ends with loki jumping into a a tva portal. kind yeah, of portal, portal. Yeah. and 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 going to god knows where um and i think jerry like i think what we found out to kind of hypothesize for episode three is uh, which, by the way, there's still no in credit scenes, um, mm-hmm. and I know that with Wandavision, that didn't happen until uh, super late in the uh, the series. Um, I think it was like the last couple of episodes that we got in credit scenes, and I think with Falcon and the Winter Soldier, I think it was like, I think the same thing. It was like the last three episodes we got in credit scenes. So, um, yeah. for those of you looking for that wait for it i think you're gonna see it as the episode goes along uh as the season i'm sorry as the series goes along um mm-hmm. the other reason too i think that that we're gonna get tom hiddleston for a while is tom hiddleston a lot of people don't realize this tom hiddleston is producing this show he is heavily involved with the creative on this show and, and is hiring a lot of the actors 
and the, the, the staff on this show are very, very involved. And I think that was one of the things that got him to come back um, because I think he was nearing the end of his contract with Marvel Studios. Um, yeah. I know he doesn't want to be typecast. He's talked about that. But at the same time, he's having so much fun playing this character. And I think yeah. giving him an opportunity to play the role, playing this style of role is kind of yeah. like what Chris Hemsworth got with Ragnarok was... I, I, yeah, I feel... Honestly, one of the biggest saving graces for the MCU, other than, of course, the Avengers and, and the Russos, was Taika. And, and how and, it was like, Ragnarok, absolutely. Different. Yeah. Just, like, granted, it was, we were getting bits of that with, uh, with, um, with James Gunn, but more so into it of, like, just being crazy. You can be a serious movie, but at the same time, have super have fun, like, have a lot of fun, have your, have your actors go crazy, but still tell a very serious uh, role about like just you know feudalism and having and about like um all these other themes of a uh, of like archaic values and stuff right with ragnarok i love that and so i feel like taika really set up a good bar of letting your actors be actors yeah so if that's the case man if we have tom to stay and say hey man i know you want to be loki but let's have you be a different variant of loki <laughs> Let's say you're a super serious, edgy Loki. Oh, you want to be that? All right, then let's have you be a buddy cop drama Loki. I will say this too, that there was a lot of people that knew that Tom Hiddleston would be able to pull, would be able to pull it off in an, in an, in an entertaining fashion yeah. was when there was rumors going around, there was going to be different versions of Loki and that his sexuality and his gender is fluid yeah. um, because, well, let's face it, he's a God, you know, um, there is, you know, um, I know that in like just to use for example, I know that um, in the Bible, the Holy Bible, mm. the God, the Christian God, is referred to as Him and mm. and what on He and and whatever. But people still don't know there is no quote yeah. gender to yeah. the Christian God that it could very easily. I mean, Kevin Smith in Dogma refers to Him as uh, refers to God as a her, and it's played by Alanis yeah. Morissette. Yeah. Um, so we don't know. So just like this, like everyone's like, oh my God, like why do they got to be all freaking woke about it? I'm like, he's a God. I mean, he is played by a male actor, yeah. but Loki, the God of mischief, it's a lower KG, lower case G. Yeah. Um, he, he's, he's, yeah, he, there's no gender to him. I mean, um, I mean, he, yeah, that, and like, here's the thing. And he's got this magic. Me, he can do whatever the fuck he wants. And here's the me, here's the me now that's going to sound like a gatekeeper. If you if the first thing you would say about Loki, like, oh, why it's why does Loki be played with woman by a woman? Motherfucker, you have never read a fucking Loki book in your life, then. Yeah. You and haven't I, been a fan of it, bro. And I think Come there were some now. people that were concerned that Tom Hiddleston was gonna dress in drag and play a female. No, I, I, I was one of them at first. Moment. Well, that's interesting. Like, go for it, Tom. Like yeah, interesting. Uh, if anybody could pull it off, it'd be you. Yeah. I'm glad he didn't. Not yeah. for the 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 quote i know people are gonna go like oh the the quote oh kevin What's, you're homophobic or you're transphobic yeah, yeah. but no she there, pulled it off better that's what i'm <laughs> saying there there will be <laughs> like here's the thing it's mcu it's marvel they can hire people to do it better than tom so let them do that and like i said tom edelstein's the executive producer you don't think that he maybe had something to do with the casting of her hello it's just weird. Uh, no, it's I did like, read some people. There were some people that actually, it was funny. I did read online. There were some people that thought Tom Hiddleston was going to play a transgender version of himself as a female and were actually upset when it was an actual female actress playing Lady Loki. And I'm like, and again, with Jared, have you ever read a freaking book? Loki is, it's not Loki dressed in a wig and in drag. He, it's a no. female. Loki. version of him yeah it's 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 literally literally the ideal the ideal of what people who are who feel like they've been born into the body they want to transition to another body loki is your god yeah he in a literal comic book right i i yeah. think i saw the scene he holds up the scepter right as a woman he swings the scepter to the side and he's a man yeah uh, hello by the way for free real quick I thought it was funny uh, talking about his magic. And you know, now that he's back on Earth and not on the TVA, and I, we find out because it kind of threw me yeah. for a loop. Was 
he gets to use his magic all of a sudden, but he can't use his magic in the TVA because we found out that things run differently in the TVA. Yeah. Things like the Infinity Stones and, and whatnot don't ex- don't have any power in yeah. the TVA. So as soon as they go to Haven Hill, he he walks into Rock's cart and he, just, he does this and he drives off and he goes, what, you didn't think I was going to walk around with squeaky? Like he uses his magic immediately to dry himself off. And I'm just like genius yeah. <laughs> and then when he fetches the 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 the, the eye robot to throw the yeah the vacuum cleaner to throw at that guy the hillbilly i was yeah. like that's what it hit me i'm like why is he using his powers oh he's back on earth that's why yeah. so it's a good type um, of things at power scale so it's 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 just weird to me like it's it's a weird type of thing now because i wonder with the tva now for me being a freaking nerd and in like just wanting to figure out who you know who can beat who what is a TVA then? Like, do they have power adapting type of type of stuff, right? Because let's say if a, I thought the TVA would be stronger, but obviously they're not because three or four of them got wrecked by one, by one variant pretty easily, right? And so, yeah. I just want to know, like, okay, how strong are they? Are they because to me they feel like Renacops now, if they're yeah. on Earth, and I'm like that's not a good you know offsets up thing especially when back in your back in your planet or your home world you the uh, the epitome of like the strongest things in the universe or that particular universe is rendered asunder when you just have nothing right once again the, the my variant is here again once again yeah uh, my my son jacob wants to do a run-in so um <laughs> with that uh with that said um let us know in the comments below what you thought of episode two, what you think is going to happen. Is this the Enchantress? Is it just Lady Loki? Is it both? Um, mm-hmm. What is Loki? Now, when I say Loki, I'm saying 2012. Or we'll call him 616 Loki. What, yeah. is his, what is his quote in game? What's he after? Um, we know that in this episode, he talks about he wants to overthrow the TVA and the Time Lords. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking, go with me on this. I think that Loki's end game is he saw, so we saw him show true emotion in episode yeah. one when he sees his demise. He sees his his real wrap up and end. Yeah, Loki doesn't want to die. He goes, wait a minute, I'm a god. I suppose I'm supposed to live on for eternity. How mm-hmm. do I die? Well, I die at the hand of a, of a titan. So I'm thinking the only way to truly save loki to give himself quote eternal life to give him uh, immortality is to control time and i think that was what's going to happen is i think he wants to overthrow the tva that's just my theory i have not seen that theory on any other fan pages so i don't think i'm spoiling anything jr we're two episodes in what do you think loki is up to or do you even want to speculate because i know you were like la 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 keep it pure here's the thing I, I if I know the source material of where they're pulling this out from, ages uh ages of Asgard. That's all I'm saying. Ages of Asgard, and if I, if there is a character, if another if a new character comes up right in the next in the next episode, dude, where she's a reporter, I immediately know where this is gonna go. I immediately know where this is gonna go. So I'm gonna leave my descriptions. I'm gonna leave my my theory. F- until possibly you know two episodes two more episodes in because yeah. if if the next episode or two episodes we see a reporter i know exactly where this is going so i'm gonna just kind of just chill off we are gonna hit the halfway point next week uh as it will reach episode number three this is a, a six episode series mm-hmm. um and i and they're getting a little bit longer much like falcon the winter soldier kind of like wandavision yeah. they're getting a little bit longer i don't you know they're going right at about an hour but they're going I think last week was like about 45 minutes. This week mm-hmm. was about 53 plus minutes. Um, and I think you're going to end up like with when you get to the season finale. Um, I, I bet you we knock a little bit over an hour. Um, so yeah, let us know. About right. Do you mm-hmm. think too, by the way, two episodes in, do you think that Loki is going to have a direct effect on what if, or is what if just going to be exactly what it is in the comic books? And that is a standalone form of storylines. I know we're not getting to what if until later this summer, which by the way, it is reported now that we're probably going to get what if in August. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, oh, that's the other thing too. Big announcement came down. This is permanent. Disney original programming will now launch every single week on Wednesdays. Nice. Friday is gone. That is specifically for 
movies. Why is that a big announcement? I think that Apple, or not Apple, that Disney is setting up for the rest of its, its, its existence that we are going to see day one launches of first run movies on nice. Disney Plus for the foreseeable future. We do know for a fact that we are going to get, we are less than a month away from getting Black, Black Widow, rather, Black Widow mm-hmm. on July 9th. That's on a Friday. We are getting Jungle Cruise in uh, no, the end of July, I apologize. And uh, we actually, you know what? We're getting Luca as we record this. It's a Thursday right. night. We're getting Luca yep. tomorrow night, mm-hmm. which is going to not, that's not Disney Premier Access. That's going to be uh, just a regular Pixar movie launching on Friday. We saw Raya and the, uh, the Last Dragon um, mm-hmm. debut on a Friday night. And then, of course, it got its non Premier Access debut on a Friday night. So mm-hmm. Disney has made it so that movies will launch on a Friday night, TV shows will launch on a Wednesday. So, and we haven't got any classification yet if what if it's going to be a TV series or if they're going to be animated feature films because they are spinoffs of movies. They're spinoffs of, 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 Captain, of Captain America First Avengers. They're spinoff of Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, I know that people are going like, well, where does zombie kind of zombie cat fit in? We don't know yet. Maybe that's going to be the new version of the Winter Soldier. We'll, we'll mm. wait and see. Um, <laughs> also, real quick, by, uh, take a chew on this one. Is uh, Here's another th- theory as we get closer to the what ifs. And we'll end on this one. Rumor has it that in, in Avengers, talk about Avengers 2012, in the Avengers yep. movie, what happens at the end of the movie? Tony Stark flies a nuke up into space through the wormhole, launches it toward the mothership, and it explodes, right? Well, we know that Thanos was not on that ship or in that area when that explosion goes off. So he, because he lives, and of course, we see what he does in in game and and, in uh, an endgame. I'm sorry, Infinity War and endgame. But Mm. what if Thanos was on that ship when Tony Stark flies through a wormhole launches a nuke and it explodes and the mad titan dies right then and there who takes over there's a fan theory that one of the members of thanos's family becomes the new mad titan just going to leave it like that so that's something that possibly we have to look forward to for what if which is coming later this the summer and like i said no clarification yet on if it's a series or individual movies yeah we don't know yet so uh thank you guys so much um as we record this we are fully caught up on our different platforms uh pulled an all-nighter last night got uh episode 49 of our main our main series uh uh, that's for that's covering e3 our loki wrap-up episode number one is up and ready to be watched and listened to um and uh, obviously if you're listening or or watching this right now i got it up (laughs) so uh but yeah thank you guys for being patient with us and uh, thanks to jr for being patient too because i know that he so desperately wants that new macbook pro mm. do by the way speaking of which uh big bummer last week at mac or at uh, wwdc there was no m1 macbook pros announced so jr if you want that new macbook pro maybe you want to wait until later later this fall when uh, nah I, I need a macbook Pro. i need like i'm either like either getting a macbook pro or i'm also and I'm gonna build my PC again, so because I want to gear up for some of the stuff coming out of that. But other than that, man, yeah. Also, uh, just to say, for those, uh, if, if for those uh, looking, continue to look at you know the uh, the Disney Plus MCU series. A new actress has been added on to the Hulk uh, to the Hulk series, She Hulk series. Yes, right. That- I. I I want to say who her name is, but let's just say uh, for those who have Secret uh, Secret Wars number three, they came back in 1984. It got a little bit of value now. Ooh, so. ooh, ooh, I do, I do, I do. So, yeah, guys. Uh, but right, we'll, be guys. Talking about that. we'll be talking about her uh, in probably the next upcoming episode too. So button that, yeah. guys. Thank you very much. And who knows? Yeah. Because we don't know when She-Hulk is going to air. Um, mm-hmm. So we're gonna definitely going to be talking about that. So maybe it'll pop up in one of our main series episodes but thank you guys so for supporting the show if you want to continue to support the show and maybe want to yep. do it a little bit financially head over to anchor.fm slash ps comics i love you there's a section there where you can uh make a donation people have been asking like are you guys ever going to set up a patreon nah i don't want to do that yet um yeah, and no. also too now that's official it's launched on 
June 15th. We are not going to take part in the Apple subscription platform. Um, I just don't want to do that to you guys. You guys have been good to us uh, yep. as we continue, literally continue to grow every single week. We have now way surpassed over a thousand downloads. I know that doesn't sound like a lot for a podcast, nice. but for it's us, for starting from scratch with no built-in names, we're not, you know, we're not, you know, Ric Flair. We're not Joe Rogan. We're not yeah. Adam Carolla. We're not, uh, you know, the, all these big names that have yeah. Jim Rome are not these big names that can just go, I'm starting a podcast. And all of a sudden they're built in a million listeners and get a yeah. hundred thousand downloads a day. Um, for us to surpass a thousand downloads in a, in a year, I think that's a, it's a win. Yeah. I mean, a thousand people, uh, people listen to us ramble a thousand different times. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and I know it's not my family because my family doesn't like comic books. So and it's not, I know it's not my mom <laughs> and my dad. Uh, it's your people by the way continuing to grow in the philippines how do we say thank you in salamat salamat everybody salamat. in the philippines yes yeah, salamat and just yeah guys we'll continue to i will try to really get on my case of just trying to just amp up get put more videos out guys i uh, just yeah just thank you very much for everything uh for everything you guys do thank you very much for all your feedback all the questions all the things you you know, get back to us. Thank you for following our freaking personal Instagrams, by the way, or really? no, our Instagrams, uh, and as well as our Twitter and all that, guys. Uh, and again, we'll try to get you as much updated on the Loki and all the other MCU, Disney Plus series, as well as all the other nerd stuff that we like to like to talk about and ramble about, and as well as hate on. <laughs> by <laughs> yours truly here, and uh, yeah, guys, thank you very much, man. We will see you possibly next episode i want to say sunday but then we record on sunday and, you, and it, the episode doesn't come out so like a couple days after that but yeah, we'll exactly. see you when we see you guys we will see you, much. See you. Hey. as always peace you got anything else oh peace okay we'll go do peace okay. hi yeah i was actually gonna just probably put our uh, we can put our socials some other time man but yes oh yeah at voice reason 23 not jr comics 42 ps comics mm. i love you on facebook and instagram ps comics i love the letter u on twitter ps comics i love you at gmail.com yep. let us know how we're doing it actually matter of fact that's what i was doing right now. So I forgot one that I have more thing because a friend of mine has been bugging me too much shout out to mike that's all you get love you man thanks <laughs> thanks mike <laughs> all right guys peace